All right, hey everybody, we're back October year one. As far as the objectives goes, I'm only at about 500 guests and it's almost the end of year one. So I need to have 800 by year three and I have a feeling maybe that'll be tough for me. Um, I don't know why, but I just am not getting many guests to this park. Maybe that's part of the challenge. You just, I don't know, have to wait and see. I've tried to build lots of roller coasters to try to attract guests and so far it's working out okay, but I guess time will just kind of tell. Uh, this ride's doing great. It's making me tons of money. Um, $1,300 in the first year is really good, actually. Um, I'm actually a little bit worried that the queue line is too long, because I think I saw someone say they'd been waiting in line forever for this ride. Um, so I might actually cut the queue down just a little bit, um, but we'll see. Um, and then my rides are breaking down a lot, so I hired a lot of extra mechanics. I now have five mechanics. I think I had like two or three or something like that, so, um, hopefully they will keep the rides inspected really often and keep that going, so. Um, this guy is doing pretty good. He's made me almost as much as the other one, or actually, actually might be more. Yeah, he's, this one's actually made me more money, and it costed me less to make too, so. Um, wow, another ride broken down. Okay, it's working now. Um, let's see, I built this swing ship. I built the two roller coasters. I built this one roller coaster right here by the entrance. Oh, that was kind of cool. I tried to use pads to make it more exciting to, like that whole getting your head almost lopped off by, you know, the, the tunnels and stuff you go through. Um... This one is a reverse incline launch. Um, I used a lot of space for it. It's a double loop and also has an on-ride photo just like the other steel coaster I built over there. Um, and it seems to be doing, it seems to be pretty popular so far. Um, I did notice with this park that it does rain quite a bit, so I don't know how good roller coasters are going to do for you with this park, but um, I guess just keep building them because they do get people to your park and get you lots of guests and the the best way you're going to reach your 800 guests is by you know getting them early and all that so um i'm charging 25 dollars entrance to the park and people are paying it and they don't seem to be unhappy about it so far it's made me a ton of money i think i've probably made more money off of yeah almost nine grand just for or a little over nine grand just from that so um and yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for rides. They give you a lot of water rides in this park, and I really hate water rides. I'll probably build a rapids, and I might build a log flume, but I hate water slides, and I don't even think there's a place where you could put a boat hire. They give you two little ponds, but those are a joke for building a boat hire, so don't even bother. I mean, I can, I can almost see myself building like four sections of track and trying to build some little thing that like winds around one side but it'd just be a complete waste of time and no one would want to ride it anyway so um what you should do they, they give you this really like low like this pond here you could build some sort of like roller coaster probably with that because it's got so many like so many places where you could build like tunnels and entrances and stuff like that. This would be a good place for like a mine cart coaster to go. And same thing over here, big dugout area with lots of walls ready for you to build, you know, your um mine cart coaster or whatever it is you want. Um and then the the um the railroad I did get rid of finally. Um used to be, you know, a huge railroad going all the way around the park. I just decided to get rid of it cuz it's a really lame ride and I didn't see any reason to continue having it so that's everything that I've done um, if I do build rides um, they will either be new rides or they will be um, water rides because I don't really have anything else I built all those um, I guess I could build like a, a car ride or something like that but um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of wait with what I have here until I have some more stuff to build, build it, and then I'll check in with you guys when I get there. Alright, hey everybody, we're back here in uh, September of year two. I now have almost 900 guests, um, and I think I finally got there by just building a ton of roller coasters. Um,
Um, I have this um, steel mini coaster right here. Uh, you can see it kind of going right here. Um, it's pretty good. I think it got like a seven something in intensity or no, a, a six two eight in intensity with five five one excitement. So it's pretty decent. Um, it's not very long. It doesn't really do very much. I just kind of was playing around trying to build something that could go around this uh, shuttle loop that I built right next to it. So it was a little bit of a challenge, but I ended up doing it pretty easily. So I built this corkscrew roller coaster you can see going right now. It seems to be really popular. Um, and because it's a rather short coaster, it has a really short queue length, as you can see right here. Um, the queue pretty much holds maybe a little bit more than one train's worth, so people don't have to stand in line very long at all. I'd say probably at most they have to wait like maybe like uh, they maybe have to wait for two rides to go at the most. So probably they just have to wait for one, and they'll be in the next. They'll be in the next one. So um, I built a, a go kart out here. Uh, here, let me throw the underground view on. There you go. You can see it. Um, it goes left, down, and underground, and then it comes back on itself and comes up and does a big old loop and comes back. Not that great. One thing I've noticed is it rains a ton. Like you can see it's raining right now. Let me take off the underground view. It rains a lot in this park, so you're gonna have you're gonna have to build a lot of roller coasters um to get the people here. And then you're gonna have to hope to get y your money some other way because it rains so much you're not going to make any money on your roller coasters. Actually that's not true. I think you make plenty of money on your roller coasters even if it rains because there's still people riding them but um, it is kind of frustrating when it rains because you don't make as much money. I built a um, this is a uh, river rapids ride. You can see them doing all the rapids and the whirlpools and all that good stuff. So actually, honestly, I think this is a pretty decent little ride. Um, you just uh, do a whole bunch of that, and then they have to go up these really slow lift hills at the end, which kind of makes it suck. But uh, I guess you'd either have them go up a lift hill at the start and and uh, come right into the station platform at the end, or you can do it the other way. I think for a ride like this, it's better to start right off with the action, because, you know, may as, may as well use all that nice terrain area to build something cool with. So I built a um, swan paddle boats out here. Uh, this lake actually used to be a lot smaller, so I went into the water here and increased it to 5x5, five five, and I just raised it up all over, um, and I, you know what, people are kind of ri ridiculous, I, I think when you don't give them a closed path, they like, I don't, I don't even know what these people are doing. I think they're finally finding, yeah, that guy finally found the the station platform or whatever. But anyway, it, yeah, they're kind of goofy and they really like to get their money's worth on the paddle boats. I'm kind of interested to see what these people are thinking. Let's see if I can get this guy. Boat hire one was great. Okay, good. Um, so yeah. I think I left my research on, okay, so I've been getting all the roller coasters, I haven't even built them all yet, I think I skipped wooden and mine train, 
Yeah, I just got this stand up, so I haven't done that one, and I haven't done an inverted one either. So everything else I have at least one of. So um, I might just to keep my guest count up, build an inverted one, um, and maybe a mine train just because of the the. The theming in this park that's already kind of going on. I think I'd mentioned in my previous video. I was going to try to use this area for a mine train coaster because there's a lot of walls where you could have it go through a wall. And if you remember at the very start of this park, they used to have this ridiculously long um, train, like tour train that went around like the entire park. And I just felt like that was really stupid, so I sold it. It wasn't even good as a transportation system, so I definitely would not recommend keeping that. It, it'll it make you a little bit of money, but it's not very exciting, and it wastes a lot of space that could be used for much better things. So, um, I built the bumper cars, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not that much else that I've done in the past year. So, so yeah, in the next year, I'm probably going to build... A couple more roller coasters, maybe fill up some more space. Um, if I, I'll probably build out this direction if I can, because there's just it's so it's so open over here. So I'll probably have a path that comes around this corner and comes out this way. Um, but yeah, other than that, this park is relatively easy. If you've beaten all the parks before this one. I don't foresee any new challenges that will make this thing any harder than the previous one. It's just they're giving you um, a pretty big area to work with, so that's also pretty generous. There's there's a lot of terrain to work with, but by now you should be pretty comfortable with you know building underground for your rides and stuff like that. So anyway, yeah, I'll uh, probably check back in with you guys at the end of the park and show you what I've built in the last month. So I'll see you guys then.